bad girl with a magic on a one Nobody just wanna suck cocky for no reason So me catch it on the bunny, so me dig it, so me run it Hey girl, man, I fuck you with a meal And it doesn't take off, it puts it so fast It puts it so fast, I see them from the ass Me know you're not half, me know you're not Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another YouTube video. I hope all of my viewers them and all of the people who just tune in for the content here for the first time have a great day. You see, Priest, and today we are going to talk about Silk Boss and also Iowa and Terra and the whole rip off situation. So, people may have the article for read, you understand, and break down the information so they can understand the full thing what went down, you understand. So, we have a lot of things, so we don't miss, so no, I miss out on that, so just consider subscribing at that post notification bell and watch this video from start till end, so you don't miss out on that. Is it? And also, go follow me on Instagram and tell me the thoughts down in the comment section about this video and the whole situation. Is it, people? So here I go on now, I'm going to read the article right about now and break down everything so you can get a full understanding how I really go down and then we'll come back come talk all about it. Is it? So we're going to read the article right about now. After a flopped show in London over the weekend with entertainers Silk Boss and Iwata, a UK promoter known as Corey Max went on a tirade during an Instagram Live, accusing the dancehall artists of using intimidation and badness as they demanded their performance fees. Corey Max also alleged that the entertainers had stopped answering their phones, which led to the cancellation of two other shows. However, Turo Don, the manager of Silk Boss, has refuted the allegations of unprofessionalism and intimidatory tactics. He said he had originally agreed on a fee of £4,500 sterling per show for Silk Boss for what was intended to be three gigs in the UK. He still has not received payment for the first show for Silk Boss, and he said that the promoter reneged on his side of the bargain in the areas of accommodation, performance fees, and per diem commitments. We agreed that we would have hotel accommodations until the tour was over and we would get a deposit before boarding the plane and the remainder before we left the hotel, that was a verbal agreement. None of that was fulfilled, not even the per diem, he said. He said there was no official contract signed because of a technicality. We never pressured him on the contract, cause you know we are gangster and we understand his situation. Anyway, after the 9 hour flight to England, we reach the airport and come outside and there is no van only a two-door car to pick us up. He booked the hotel accommodation on the same night, it wasn't a great hotel, but we understand say as a tour, we not there for comfort, Turo Don explained. Turo Don said that the promoter, Corey Max, did not appear to be organized. For one, the same day that the entertainers were granted the visas was the same day they traveled to the UK to do the first show of what was expected to be a three-day gig. The show night, it looked like him just to go secure the venue, we say where's the money promoter? No money. We go the show, Silk Boss gave his full performance, him never hold back, him go hard, the people dem love it. After the show, no money. We went back to the hotel and at 12 noon, the hotel personnel come tell we say we have to leave the hotel now, and they will be kicking us off the Wi-Fi because only one night was paid for, he said. Turo Don referred to the venue as a little underground club. During his Instagram Live, the promoter had explained that he had brought the touring party to a Travelodge hotel, as a matter of convenience just to ensure they had accommodation immediately after the flight. He said that artists and entourage made disparaging comments even describing the place as a FK shop. Turo Don said repeated requests to the promoter for remuneration were ignored. We call the promoter, we ask him weh the money da? Him say nothing na guan. Ah just 900 pounds sterling him mech and him give it to Iwata people. Him say him have a 1000 pounds sterling somewhere else, we saw Guan fight it and all now, him na answer we call, he said. Promoter Corey Max says that Silk Boss invaded his personal space and was in his face like a bad man, when the discussions regarding the payment for performance fees became heated. Turo Don has denied that this happened. Turo said it was fortunate that Intense's uncle offered help and support in frigid England. If it were not for Intense's uncle, who lives in the UK, they would have been stranded in the middle of winter. Big up to Intense's uncle, I am come by we food and give we somewhere to stay after we eat the cold and up ya cold different, is like a deep freeze, when you talk, all smoke come out you mouth, he said. The touring party later found out that the promoter had bought a one-way ticket so they are now forced to sing dub plates and hustle to earn enough money to buy their tickets to return to Jamaica. We have kids, we have family, what we going to tell them say? 
is like a joke thing to fly so far for this to happen. This is a learning process and a warning for all young artists to be wary of some promoters, he said. He said he has booked for two more hypothetical dates, but no money was paid for the first show so they did not even consider doing the rest until there was some sort of remuneration offered for their services. The visas of the artists and the entourage expire on February 11th. The promoter has threatened to instruct immigration to cancel the visas of the artists and their entourages before that time, and added disparaging comments accusing Silk Boss of wearing a fake fila. This man has been threatening us that when we go to the airport, he is going to attack us. This is a learning experience and it shows what artists have to go through sometimes to pursue their love of music, Turo Don said. Silk Boss's latest single is Team, produced by Turo Chop City Records, Pop Style Music and Silverbirds Records. So people, the first disagreement on my app, they're seeing, yo, that promoter, that UK promoter, the first they get disagreement man with him, here I go on now. The man come out on the media, you see, and I'm paint a picture, you see, like say, a silk boss flop the show on high water. You see, and when we watch a little clip into a brief official video, big up yourself, brief official, and also big up yourself, sit boss, and the whole entire team, you understand, whole ice nation, big up themselves, you don't know the thing. Go. So, when we see the video now, and the crowd wasn't a big crowd, and yet still, yeah, we hear blank boss, and the man will have vibe and thing and thing. You see people, but for no say out, oh, you take a one way ticket, go far now, and you did your work for the promoter and the money now. Remember, you know, people, a stage show you're going, brother. You understand, and then you get kicked out of the hotel and all of them things there. And when the man come out, you understand, upon the Instagram live and attack, I be a badness in my deal with. Because I'm going to do silk boss and say the man that I'm fake filler. You see, and then I'm going to go to bam now and attack. About, um, with a call that now say I'm going to take with them visa within them visa going to expire ne- next month in February you don't know the thing go and England is a very cool place so if you know say you left from here then you go to England and you do your thing you do your show hotel kick you out if I never feel feel terror than uncle I'm sorry for them because they are in a backside cool people so tell me what you thought in the comment section what you think about this whole situation because for me that producer I'm a producer that promoter they forget to harass like people yeah that me say and I mean what I said, you see, because the reason why I said that is, you know what say you free up in at the end of the day, that. you see, and then you want to dub from the man, them. and I hustle the man, them, I feel hustle for making money, for them can buy them plane ticket for come back here, before them visa expire, that is not a good look for two big artists, and also a big promoter, and you don't know, be official a role with them as well, so, this right about now is a learning process for them, you see, because this now got to them again, you know, because they're going to use this as an example, to tear down, big up yourself, brother, because you see, no matter where you do, people are going to try to fight at the end of the day. Silbass are a very talented artist and high water and Jordan as well. I said some things on the other video people, but we know I listen to the next side of the story. I have to correct myself. You see? So if you don't want to see that video, then you can, the, can go on my channel right now. The third video I upload, yeah man, you can go check it out. People that are total foolishness. You see? This all make all the man them not even probably on the one go foreign again, go perform or re re re. You see? Because if you don't say, I'm a, pro, um, a promoter take it from your yard, see? And you go do a stage show. You and him have agreement, you know. You understand? You're gonna make a stay at one hotel because you don't know. And you perform, and you get a little trunk change, and you do your thing, and you do your thing. You see? And when you forget your money, you know, a problem. You have to hustle. If I never for that, you turn to your yard because you wouldn't have put yourself in a problem. You see? And after six hours, exhausting flight to go to England, and thing and thing, and then now. Yeah, <laughs> well, people, it, it rough. You see, it's rough. I never expect this to go on, but it's rough, people. Now, the end of the day, it's rough. You understand? So, sit boss, you learn from your mistake. Terror than an eye water. Learn from the mistake so this never reach you know, again. You see, because Jaja, this is a very bad look, and the two bad artists, them, and also top promoter, eh, slash blogger, Terror than. No, no promoter, slash producer, and slash blogger, Terror than. You understand? So, people just learn from the mistake so this never happen again. And you know, I burn me too. When the man them say, them, when, the, when, the, when the promoter say, the UK promoter say, them come and fire it. You understand? And I go on like say, them are used to things. So, first thing more, I know, go to Louis Vuitton and enough other little thing. A foreign alone that sell, that not sell a Jamaica, it's probably twice the price out here, out of Jamaica, yeah, where, 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 where it's sell for over there. But yeah, they are yard, real shit, they are yard too. So enough man just, just make it look hard and thing and thing and thing make it look like so when I used to nothing but and I saw it go 
you see, so people tell me on the thoughts down in the comment section. You don't know where I wrap up the videos. So all the people that want to watch my video from start till end, you don't know. Big up yourself 100%. Still, but also just have to learn from your mistake. Third and high water. You just have to learn from the mistake. I just saw it go. You see, so big up yourself 100%. And big up first lady, be official as well. And thanks for watching my viewers. Big up yourself as well.